Hey guys, welcome to the sixth C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the if statement. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And once you have that on your form, just go ahead and double click on the button. Alright, so basically, what an if statement does is it will check to see if a statement is true. And if that statement is true, then it will do something else. So, to write an if statement, you're just going to want to write if and then following that you're going to want to put two parentheses and in these two parentheses is the statement that you're going to want to check to see if it's true or not and we're going to want to check to see if textbox one's text equals Adam so we're going to say if textbox one for our text box and then say dot text for the text property of our text box and we want to say if the text of the text box is Adam then we're just going to have a message box show saying um, hello Alright, and the reason that we have to put two equal signs here is because two equal signs will check to see if it's true or not, where one equal sign will just set the value um, of text box one. So if we were to just put one equal sign there, it would throw an error, but if we were to put it outside of an if statement, it would just set the text of text box one to Adam, and we don't want to do that. We want to check to see if text box one's text is equal to Adam. And then if it is, then we want to have a message box show. So following our if statement, we need to put two curly braces. And then inside of these curly braces is all the code that will be executed if this is true. So if text box one's text equals Adam, then we're just going to have a message box show saying, um, hello. All right, so once again here, to write an if statement, you just need to type if, if, and then two parentheses following that. And then inside of these two parentheses is the statement that you want to write to see if it's true or not. So if text box one's text equals Adam, then we're going to have a message box show. And the reason that we have to have two equal signs is two equal signs will check to see if the value is equal to Adam. But one equal sign will set the value. And we don't want to do that. We want to check. All right. So let's just go ahead and debug here. And if text box one's text equals Adam, then we should have a message box show. So it's equal to Adam right now. And we click the button. You get hello. But if text box one's text equals anything besides Adam, we're not going to get that message box. So if we type like hello in, no, we don't get that message box because this will only occur right here if text box one's text is equal to Adam. All right. What if you want to check to see though if text box one's text doesn't equal Adam? So you will always get the message box unless text box one's text equals to Adam. And to do that, you're just going to want to put exclamation point equal sign and what this means is it will check to see if text box one's text doesn't equal Adam so if text box one's text doesn't equal Adam then we'll get a message box to show alright so let's just go ahead and debug here so the message box will show every time unless text box one's text equals Adam so we're just gonna put hello in here we should get Adam or hello I mean yep type in anything else hello yep but if we type in Adam then uh, this will return false because it will say if text box one's text doesn't equal Adam and it does equal Adam so we'll never get to this code so let's just click this button and nope we don't get that message box because text box one's text equals Adam alright what if you want to check to see though if text box one's text equals Bob so well, let's actually just change this back to equal to Adam so you're going to want to say if text box's text equals Adam then we'll have a message box show and then you also want to check to see if text box one's text equals Bob. So if text box one's text equals Bob, then we want to have a message box show saying, um, yo. So, all right, so we get yo right there. All right. And we type in Bob now, and we should get a message box saying, yo. Yep. But there is a better way to do this. So basically what it's going to do here is going to check to see if it's Adam and if it was Adam then it would get a message box saying hello and then it would go down here and say if text box one's text equals Bob well if you have a whole bunch of if statements right here checking to see if there's like three or four hundred people's names then that's not very good because it has to go through each one of these if statements but if you were to just type right here else if then what it's going to do is if text box one's text equals Adam then it's just going to skip over this because it can't be equal to Adam and Bob. It just can't do that. So if text box one's text equals Adam, then it's just going to stop right there. 
and not ever get to this code. It will show the message box, but once it's done executing everything inside of here, it'll just stop and go right down to there and just skip after this else if statement. And you can have as many else ifs as you want. So if you wanted to have another else if saying else if text box once text equals Joe, then we want to get a message box that says hi. So let's have a message box saying hi. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works here. So if we type in Adam, we should get a message box saying hello. Yep. If we type in Bob, we should get a message box saying yo. Yep. And if we type in a message, or if we type in Joe, we should get a message box saying hi. Yep, perfect. And if we type in anything else, all these are going to return false. These are all going to be false, and we won't get anything. Yep, perfect. All right. And before I end this tutorial, let me just show you one more thing. There's something called else. And the else will only occur if all of these are false. So if text box one's text doesn't equal Adam, it doesn't equal Bob, and it doesn't equal Joe, then we can just say else right here, and then it will do whatever's inside of here. So we'll just have a message box saying, sorry, your name isn't important. So sorry, your Oops, your name isn't important. Okay, so if your name isn't Adam, Bob, or Joe, then we'll get this message box saying, sorry, your name isn't important. So let's just go ahead and make sure that this works. So if we type in Adam, we get um, hello. If we type in Joe, we should get hi. But if we type in anything else besides Adam, Bob, or Joe, and it's just going to go to this else right here, and we're going to get, sorry, your name isn't important. So if we type in, like, mm, hello, then we're just going to get a message box saying, sorry, your name isn't important. So basically what it does, when text box one's text equals hello, it's going to check to see if it's Adam. No, it's not. So then it's going to go down to this else if. And then, is it equal to Bob? Nope. Is it equal to Joe? Nope. All right, so then we're going to do this else right here. We're just going to have a message box show saying, sorry, your name isn't important. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using um, the if, else if, and else. So see you guys.